Right lads, let's get to it. Second mission, well the cinematic's called The Mind ba Man Behind the Curtain, but the mission we're going into is Death in the Family. Yeah, the last mission was a great success. It was a good laugh as well. This game is awesome. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. The rain. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. And... We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Mm. Whether we can trust her or not, I don't know. But she has done the right thing in the previous games, I'm pretty sure. We shall see. End of the line. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. Mm. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Really? It began here. <laughs> and it ends here. This is where it originates from. about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you okay. on the other side. So we've only got one elimination, and we've got to get the intel. Happy days. That's something I can certainly do. I wanted to say, just because, just because refresh my memory there, Hitman has always reminded me, now I don't know if Hitman came first, or the game I'm thinking about, Mission Impossible for the, for the N64, but I, I love the structure of these games and their stories. It is always about espionage and... 
and Illuminati type powers and things like that. Oh good luck planning. So Oh yeah, we're not allowed smuggled items, but because we have got Now the question is To get more items, because I, I remember old games. I don't know if it's this series of Hitman games, but when you finish a mission with certain items on you, you can carry them into the next mission. Okay, right, I'm happy with that. Difficulty is professional, good, objectives. Find the case file. Okay, we know what it looks like. Kill her, find the case file. Let's do it. So what I'll probably do is, if possible, I'll go for the case file first. Because obviously whenever you kill someone it, it creates a not an immediate alert, especially if you make a little accident. Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. I just saw something there. One of her security guards had a sniper rifle. Oh my god, can we just execute her without going in the building? We're going to have to go in the building anyway. Because we need the case file. This is awesome. Oh, there she is. I don't know if there's a window there because there's a tree blocking it. Now, wait, there's this guy. Oh, this is the private detective. I suppose we could go in as the. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. I will. Let me just get in here. A famous private investigator. Right, we need. To follow this guy and take him out when Ooh, we get the chance to. Shit. It's too dangerous. Although, watch this. Um, That didn't work. I tell you what, wait till he gets further into the, the grounds. I think we've missed the opportunity there. Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me. Said she understood the position I was in. Uh, we had a really good talk about it, actually. Now, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. And that stuff from your ex was like manipulation one-on-one. I know. I know. I guess I thought she was going to read into them and freak out. And say I must have done something to provoke her. Shit, man. Caroline really did a number on you. Hmm. Right, so he's getting searched. Shit, we've missed opportunity. I can't believe it. I need to get over there. There's a oh look, there's a drain pipe. I can get straight up around there. But I think this guy's gonna go back. Go on, back off.
tap a rake. Oh, they're all gardeners. That's fine. Right, this security guard's a potential target. Oh, no. What is that in the back of the car? We could go up there and possibly into that window. There's a guy there, okay. Maybe not. Mary is so upset that she's never seen a dead body before. Life can be tough sometimes. Alexa, back from the dead. A make-believe funeral. A murder mystery. Oh, all too much. <gasps> Crowbar. We'll vacation when this is over. Will you stop talking to the the ladies of the house? What are they called, maids? Stop talking to the maid, you dirty bastard. I want that crowbar. But like we might have to do... Oh, she's going to go, she's going to go. Excellent. Right. I need to be that security guard. We could lure him. I think we can lure him. Watch this. Give me the coin. Mm. Stay here and you'll be safe. Oh yes. Yeah, got it. You will be safe. Get in there, you bitch. Right, quickly swap. <laughs> this is how we do it. Right, give us a gun. Put that away. I want the crowbar. Because the crowbar can also be used as, I believe, it can. Non-lethal. We can throw the crowbar and knock people out as well. So this works just like the hammer. Actually, it's a lot more useful than the hammer because it can open up doors. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Right, we're in there like swimwear. Oh, so we could have used the radio to distract them. Happy days. Right, let's get equipped. Newspaper. There we go. Don't know why I want a newspaper, but I'll take it. The chandelier's in there. She's still up there. Right, look. That drain takes us up to that doorway and she's right on that floor but she's not that woman's not going to be happy with me climbing up there but let's just have a, a scout about hello there poison reception receipt for sale repairs safe in madame carla's office i bet that's where she keeps the file on arthur edwards carlisle's office okay so we're gonna to have to find a way to get in there Imagine we're going to need the code. Oh, I just, I love this game. It's so good just exploring. Oh, an axe. Now, axes are absolutely amazing, but it's not what I need at the minute. Or a shovel's good. We'll leave that there. Oh, now this guard knows who we are. I don't need to do that yet, but what I'm wondering is, what is the... Can we go in that thing over there? I do kind of want to explore the greenhouse. Right, let's have a look. We don't need all these save games anymore. Oh, we've got a ball. I don't think this is going to be explosive. I need this shoot to happen, okay? And I need it to be perfect. Can't, can't we just take a fuse from another fuse box? Uh, ah. I guess we do that. Good. Look, I'll finish setting up, and then we'll grab the fuse just before you call down the family. Good. Yeah. 
That's a good plan. Wait, I don't know how we're going to actually kill her though, because I imagine if we we take this guy out, if we take this guy out, go and get a fuse from the fuse box, and then initiate her to get the woman. Ah, oh, that's how we do it. Expose the wire, light the bitch up. Right, where'd that guy go? That's him there. Right, that's an option. Only issue is if I take him out now. Oh, shit. I feel you are violating my personal space. That's where the fuse goes when I get one. Must be a hundred years old at least. What is this? Blending as a gardener. Wait, I want to know what's in here. There's got to be something good. Ah. Oh, it's a drink. I can't pick it up though. I don't believe for a second Zachary committed suicide. We don't need to just run through the plan with Prince Seedley yesterday. Yes, sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how things would be handled with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay here, but Ethel was sure Emma would throw him out first chance she got. And now we'll never know. Oh my. You're taking this hard, aren't you? Oh shit, I was going to unlock that door, but there's a security guard there. Oh shit. Fuck. It wasn't, it wasn't me. You know, you call me red-handed, open up your fucking... What's this called? What's, what, what is this called? Greenhouse. Open up your greenhouse door. Right. Broken lab oh. equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Hmm. How are we going to repair the distillery? Oh, there's a cupboard here. Yeah? Oh, it's just for hiding bodies. Oh, I've got some poison flowers. Don't really know how that's going to benefit me. Boat key, nice, we've got an escape. Right, so we've got a potential escape. I don't know where the boat is though. Right, let's get out of here. Wait there. Could I repair that distillery like now? A wrench. Okay, if we find the wrench, I believe there's going to be one out here. There's got to be. Can I just open this now? Oh, nice, you can. Once you're inside, you can open it without prizing things open. Happy days. And there's the boat. I will never again meet someone like Zachary. Garden fork. It's no good. Oh, come on, Olivia. I understand why you're Where was the sniper? Remember, there was a in the intro we saw a guy with a sniper rifle. I'd love to just blow a head off. There's the wrench. Tell him if a bitch. Right, let's go and see what... I want to know what fixing this distillery does. Now Zachary won't get to see the rhododendron perigidium blossom. They were his favourite. No. 
produce poison. Lethal poison. Oh my god, we've got some lethal. Yeah, that's right, because the rat poison doesn't kill people. I remember that from the last game. Wrenches are also good for knocking people out of range. Right, we've made some good progress here. Now, let's go back to... A kind... Tell you what, why don't we get a fuse? Just so we've got it in the inventory so we can keep all of our options open. But I'm going to stay as a security guard at the moment because I need to be in the house. To get that file. And I think being a security guard is going to be the, the best option there. Pa pow Nice. Right, we've got everything we need to do different options. All we need to do is if we take out that guy and imitate the photographer, we can get them down there. But wait there, how do I get water on here? I need a screwdriver, so that'll create electricity. Aha! Create a water leak. How you been? Ah, I've been good, mate. Right, we know what we're doing. We've got the wrench to do that. We need to find a screwdriver. I imagine we'll get that inside. We can find the maintenance area. Oh, trespassing. Oh, we need to be one of them special security guards. Looks like I'm only an outside security guard. Right, how do we get one of them outside? I think we're going to have to climb a, a drain pipe, if I'm honest. Or we could be a waiter, do you think? Oh, there's one. Oh, he's just a waiter. That's not what I need. Regular security guard. Hmm. This guy knows who I am, so let's just take it around the edge. There's the, is that the sniper? Oh, that's a gardener. I tell you what I'm going to do. I want to climb up onto the second floor, and we're going to take someone out there. There and then, because I believe the, there's not going to be as many guards on the second floor. They're all going to be on the ground floor, because that's the point of entry. I could get in by taking out this guy and dragging him in the bushes. Watch this. I think we'll do that just as a, a way in. Hmm. Yeah, what the fuck's yeah. that, mate? Mate, I've heard there's money in that bush, you know. Riches beyond your wildest dreams. Oh, someone saw us. Release that lateral vascular neck constraint. <laughs> Release that lateral va vascular fucking neck constraint. Nah, I don't think we're going to do that. What the hell? Oh, we're here. Okay, so that... I don't know how I got saw, because I was clearly... Oh, I haven't done the poisonous fucking flower thing. Right, there we go. We're back to square. We're back to where we were. I will never again meet someone like Zachary. I can't bear to think what will happen to all this rare... Oh, even if you pick up two crowbars, you can only have one. Oh, no, no, we've got two. You get a times two next to it. Right, let's, let's do this. We'll get the fuse and then we'll go inside. I'm just going to go inside as a security guard. But I'm going to go around the edge, actually. I'm going to go around the edge and climb up on the balcony. Oh, 
gods there now? Where the hell did they come from? Like, this is actually a good point of entry. The kitchen. Who the fuck's this guy? Yes, hi Cassie, it's me again, Edward. I, I know I'm not Shit. supposed to leave you messages and this is the last time, I promise. It's just, uh, I don't know how to handle this whole situation. I, I don't think I can really, I, I, I can't feel my legs and my eyes are not working huh. properly. This flicker thing again, y you can't tell anyone. But well, the thing is, I've been asked to perform the eulogy at the funeral event tomorrow. I don't know, it sounds so unbelievable. But even though Mother is still alive, we still have to go through with the funeral. I have to write the eulogy. I don't think I can. She will definitely want to read it, and no matter what. I, I just know she'll be disappointed in me. So that guy's reading the eulogy. Oh, there's the detective. Come to Papa, mate. That's it. This is what this is all waiting. Hey, things have worked out all right. If I can just get this guy away from everyone. What a marriage! Splendid dynamics between the two. I've got an idea. Conflict. Unsaid fears and desires. I could just stay all day. Oh, he's moving. I thought he was going to go back inside. Because what I was going to do was I was going to throw a wrench at his face. Right, we need this guy. But I need to not get caught. I don't even know who caught me last time. Yes. That explains a lot. Mate, I'm your personal security escort, don't worry about it. You strike me as independent and self-sufficient? Taking a break where the family might see you? Perhaps you're also perceptive. Ah. Tell me the first odd thing that comes to mind when you think of the last 24 hours. Uh. Let me think. First thing, don't think. Um, okay. Well, I'm sure I left 20 quid in my locker. But when I came in this morning, it was only a fiver. No, not perceptive at all. There. Right, this is going to be risky here. I'm going to knock this guy out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lure him in. I need to lure him over there. You're very perceptive, mate, aren't you? Crime noticed. Oh, that fucking bitch noticed. <laughs> she just, she just watched me one on this guy with a wrench. Okay, we may have to. I, I'm in the right thing. I know what I'm doing, right? I've just got to be careful that she didn't, she didn't see anything. Because if I can knock this guy out right there and put him in that chest. 
we are in there like swimwear. <laughs> this game is the best game I've ever played. I just like throwing heavy objects at people's faces. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, you might as well act the detective. Exactly. I suggest you go talk to the butler. Yes, the butler. Right then. The butler's up there. Right, we can speak to the butler, but now we've got full access to this place. I think we do. Let's have a goosey gander. Birdcage. How would one destroy a birdcage? I don't know why, what that would benefit us. I can poison that water bottle if I wanted to, but I don't know who's going to drink out of it. Yeah. Ooh, a, a what? A Maori paddle. Spank someone's ass with that. I tell you what, why don't we go and see the butler just out of curiosity? Gregory, don't say more to that weird detective than you need to. I was just having a laugh, dear. I must admit, he's pretty good. What if he believes we had something to do with Zachary's death? Oh, please. I'm stood here, mate. If I could be bothered, I'd be worried about your mental health, Emma. But sorry, I'm having too much fun enjoying the circus. Right, let's get some juicy info off this butler. Mr. Whitmer, are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? Yes. I am. Very well, if you'll follow me, sir. Yes, and we'll jump. I'm wondering if... Oh, is this a basement? I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them. If they seem affected Hello, by a rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider what consequences? when I leave. I'm thinking, can we go through Before with this we funeral? The crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, hmm. Madame Carlyle suspects foul play, and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Excellent, I bloody hell, I went from an assassin to a detective, I love it. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Yes. I think we will. Secret tunnels. Oh my god, we've got secret tunnels. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Aha. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. Yes, they have. Oh, you dirty buggers. It's a peep show. I've got a missing item. I think the crime item. scene has more clues, 47. Yeah, it does, but at least we know how they got in. And it was a mysterious, a mysterious switch on the floor. So if we find something, how we activate that with the missing item, that's how we get in from that direction. Because we can't get in from that direction if we wanted to, which I believe we might be able to lure someone here and kill them in the room. But I don't know. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Oh, we can do that, can we? Come on, then. 
James Bond camera. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. I've just realised I can use the camera to zoom in to watch things from afar. I was looking for the zoom in button, but now it's on the camera, okay. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Good I idea. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. The I'm butler. curious about the information he's prepared for you. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Hmm. You could be onto something. Okay then, let's go and see the butler. Mr. Fensby. Why is he not waiting outside the room? What's in here? Am I allowed in here? No, I'm not. Aaron Ford Jr. calling. Listing of asset transfers from the Carlisle account HTC Depot number 5085. 5085. I need it immediately. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, I'm still here. It doesn't exist. 5085. Didn't exist. Right. I'll double check and get back to you. Hmm, shady things are afoot. Ah. We can go higher. That's where she is, fair enough. Right, I need to see the butler. How do I get down? Mate, I'm already lost in this ridiculously sized house. Oh. We got a game crash. No way, lads. What a joke. Well, that's my first game crash, lads. I can't remember if Hitman 2 had a lot of game crashes. It kind of rings a bell that it might have. Never mind. I just hope there was an autosave after I'd done that investigation. Bastards. All because I couldn't find the stairs down. Right, how do I load? Load game. Good. It's saved there, that was good. Oh, I'm not happy about that. I was getting right into it there, I'm fucking Detective Inspector Morse. I like how there are separate stories aside from your main objectives, because I find this quite interesting. Indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Right. I believe you've done a thorough search. Yes, I have. ...of the crime scene 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. I should get back to you. Oh, you dirty bastards. I just need to find the stairs. This fucking house. Could somebody guide me towards the stairs down? Otherwise, I'm just going to fling myself off this balcony. Lads, I'm, I'm... It's game over here. Can't find... Well, there's the stairs up.
Oh my god. I wish I was paying attention when I followed the butler the first time. But we walked... Did we not go this way? What's this? A f I'm gonna now it is to actually get to where I'm going. I need to climb out the window and climb down. Like, mate, where's the fucking stairs? Good today, sir. Cheers, bro. But I might be looking good, but I don't know how to get down. Aha! No. Yeah, they are. What a bunch of cocksuckers. How's everything coming along, Elaine? Very well, Mr. Fernsby. Make sure, you. Mr. Fernsby. I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Brilliant. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Okay then. Make sure you focus on this is very useful information, 47. The oldest child of Alexa Car Carlisle, Gregory is suspect in the murder. The son. I will. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? So watch yourself. Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? I would rather search the manor for clues first. Boredom. I fear I may not survive an entire weekend in this shit hole. Right. Let's search all the bedrooms. See what we can come up with. Because if we find the counterpart of that floor switch that accesses the secret tunnel, we will be able to pinpoint who it might have been. A brick. Oh my god. I love bricks. Take that. Mate, I'm just taking this brick. I hope you don't mind. It's for my investigation. <laughs> right. Bedrooms, bedrooms, bedrooms. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Okay. Oh, unfortunately there's a maid here. an idea. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot that door's shut by themselves. Excuse me? Hello? There's something, there? there's, something, there's something going on in that room. Go and check it out. Ah, oh, who saw this? Fuck off. No way. Take you to Madame Carlyle. Make sure you focus on your work. I will. I don't need one more maid crying in the kitchen. Well, so have not yourself around young Mr. Patrick. Don't this worry. is very you about me. So how does one solve a murder? I think this we're person? gonna have to get in that room via Motive climbing around the outside of the building. Opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Yes, I do want clues. That is the door to Rebecca's room. What is? I'm not even next to a door. This. Oh, this door. Right, let's try and be a bit and more careful this time. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm in. I'm in Rebecca's room. What's going on on the computer here? I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9pm to midnight last night. 
Aha. What is going on? What type of what type of building is this? There's secret passages all over the shop? I mean. Transfers from the Carlisle account HTC Depot number 5085. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, I'm. Mean it doesn't exist. Right. I'll double check and get back to you. I need to get rid of that guard. Right, I don't think there's any point in me going. Ah, there's another people. I'm feeling very voyeuristic. Right, well, at least we know where there's a couple of secret rooms. Let's try the next room. So there's a peephole into the bathroom. That's that room. That's the crime room. There's too many. It's too big. Seems like a lot of wasted space. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. This is going to be trouble. Unless we can get outside. My parents would hate right, we'll shut the door. Oh, look at how he, <laughs> he climbs small ledges. This better be a window I can get in. It's not looking great. Oh, he's on a balcony. Brilliant. In there like swimwear, baby. Okay, lads. Let that open her. Ah. Letter from Emma's mother. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Greenhouse keychain. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? I'm walking, Kane. <laughs> missing propane flask. Oh, that's like a... What, what are they called? One of them, like, waiters. Dumb waiter, where you raise and lower food. So we could possibly bomb the kitchen. Well, she was in the greenhouse. Now, I think she was making poison. That's what she was doing. 
Emma in Gregory's room. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what going inside our cupboard's gonna do. I think I missed a clue in the other room. What is. Yeah, there's something going on here. Oh, wait there. Zachary's bedroom, five out of six clues. Oh, so that is this room. Rebecca's room. One out of two clues. Greenhouse, one out of two clues. This is so... Good. I don't know where the clue is in this room. There's one last clue I'm missing. Ah, the bath. Maybe. Hmm. I think it might be related to going down there to the kitchen. No, no. Oh no! It'll, I think the final set of clues will be related to speaking to the witnesses. Right. So, who else is room? Do I need? Ground floor. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, look, she's coming downstairs. That is Alexa Carlisle, unofficial leader of the Provenance Partners and last one to be alive. Yeah, I can't let you pass. Sorry, okay. sir. Okay. But the maids can go up. Something not explicable by your death. Clever girl, Rebecca. Such a shame with all the idealism, though. She could have gone far. Do I tell her all? Possibly something missing in this room. I'm gonna get one last check. Nah, there's definitely nothing we can physically find here, but we are going to do some interviews. Right, find a way down there is the stairs there, so... Oh, oh the stairs all over the shop, I didn't see... I just didn't see them. Right, we're going to have a look in the greenhouse to see if there's something we can now pick up with this case. Box that. Blend in. So, how long have you been working here? About a month now. You're American. What on earth are you doing this? Patrick talking to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. Hmm. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler? Oh, of course. What is this? Tokens for Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby. According to the bodyguards, Rebecca Carlyle and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, have each been given a token for the Million Fitzpatrick Bank. When combined, the tokens grant access to a deposit box to whoever holds the seat. This deposit box may well contain a copy of the case file on Arthur Edwards. Okay, so... Rebecca Carlyle and Mr. Fernsby. If we can take both of them out, steal the tokens, 
and then open the deposit box. Nice. But we need to be around the back. I don't know what benefit there is of actually solving this detective case, but I just find it interesting. I'm the wrong way. Security detail at a staged funeral event tomorrow. <laughs> That'll be a first for me. What the fuck she doing? Well, oh, she's doing something here. Yeah. Just giving some sort of speech. So that's probably an opportunity that I've missed. I'm not too bothered. I'll never get how the rich do things. All this fuss for a pretend funeral. And why not do a photo I'll shoot? never again meet someone that. like that. Talk about it's not bad to see. How many lethal poisons have I actually got? I've got three. Oh, so you can create three. Right, there's nothing else here. Right, tell you what we're going to do. We'll call it an episode. What I am, I'm going to... interview some of the people, but I need to find Miss Fonsby and, and the other guy. Rebecca Carlisle and Mr. Fernsby. Who's Mr. Fernsby? The butler. Right, if I take out the butler and I take out Rebecca Carlisle, we're going to get them tokens. But we'll question them first. Okay, lads, what I think we'll do is I'm going to save it here. And when we come back, we'll be doing the questioning and finishing the mission. Okay, lads, this is it. I know some of these missions take a lot longer than what they what they do, but it's all because we're learning. It's all exciting, finding out the different things about the story. And that is why I play this game. See you in the next one, lads.